Listen, what's man? What's going on? We're not recording yet. I see the red light. Oh, all right, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, we start, are recording. Start again. Yeah, start again. Do I need to help you with this? Run it, run it back. Here we go. Yeah, ready to go. Good morning, Wes. Good morning. Yeah. How are you today? What's your name again? <laughs> just, <laughs> just joking. So glad to have you in the building after it's a couple weeks. It's great to see weeks. you, man. <laughs> I've gone a couple weeks without being assaulted. So I, it's been a while actually it, it since has, we've done this. I, it has been. It all right, let been. me let me ask for forgiveness. I mean, it is Holy Week. I think it is. Yep. It's Holy Week. Yeah. Holy Week. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, me too. It's me good too. to be back in the building. It's good to have you back in the yeah, building. Absolutely. We're getting new carpet still. It's a little chaotic today. we got Easter egg hunts yep. with our preschool. There's probably 100 people floating around, so we may have someone jump in our video, but that's, that's okay. That's probably true. But that's, that's okay. True. Well, I need to say a couple of great Thanksgivings. Okay. First, to you and to all the staff, y'all have been amazing. Um, it has been uh, such a privilege to watch everything that you've done. And I'm grateful to God for you and you. for everyone on staff. Um, it's very humbling to me. Um, Beth is in the background for me now, but on behalf of both of us as a church, we cannot even comprehend the ways that we have been loved truly in this time. And that's been on my heart to say for a while. You will hear me say that again and again, um, but just truly, truly um, uh, a blessing to be able to share life with you in this way, in this time. Um, we are so thankful to God for you, Monroe First uh, Methodist Church. We are so grateful to God. Um, what are you excited about today as we go through Holy Week? It's Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, and it's the calm before the passion storm, That's if right. you will. So yeah. we are uh, kind of getting ready. We got Friday night, 7 o'clock is our Tenebrae service. Yeah. Um, yes, I think it's going to be crowded. Uh, yes, it's going to be uncomfortable, but that's okay uh, because it's, it's be going wonderful. to be a great, a great time. We're looking forward to that. Seven o'clock, come a few minutes early, get a seat that's available. It may not be your seat. I said that they could sit next to us up front if they need There's to, room. if they're, if we need to. So yeah. Joe and the choir and Janet have been working a long time. And so it's very excited for them to, to showcase this worship service that's going to be powerful. And that's this Friday night at 7. It ends with three guys on the crosses. I got something in my eye, but we're going to power through it. Uh, three guys you? on the... Huh? Is that you? Uh, uh, no. No, I, I, no. Okay. Um, I've been out there before, and someone questioned why Jesus weighed 250 pounds. So... I said, you know, you weren't there, you don't know. So anyway, uh, we've got three of my teenagers out there. It's going to be great, good weather. Uh, it's just going to be a great weekend Le leading into our sunrise over Walgreens service. Yes. At 7 o'clock out front. Uh, Joe's going to lead a song. Or we're going to do a prayer and a short homily, as they call it. It's a short message is what I've been told homily means. But it sounds really pastoral when I say homily. So uh, it's a Easter sunrise homily out front at 7 o'clock. Then we're going to be in here, our fellowship hall, at 9 o'clock. Yeah. I'm anticipating a full house there. And then 11 o'clock as well uh, in our sanctuary. We have overflow available in here as well if we need it. But it's going to be a fun Easter. Your I, first in Monroe. I was going to say, I'm excited to be able to share... Uh, our first Easter in Monroe, and I will be back in church at 9 and 11 this week. I'm excited about that. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be good. Yeah, it's yeah, going to be good. About that. Next Wednesday, we're back with our Wednesday night suppers. You have not eaten, at least not eaten very well probably the last few Wednesdays because we haven't had Wednesday night supper. But we're back next Wednesday with our Bible studies. Uh, Steve Shepard is going to lead your prime study. All right. Uh, so he's going to lead that next week. We appreciate him for doing that. And then somebody special is coming the 24th and 27th. Is yeah, that right? so I, just let me highlight a couple of things that are really, really special. I'm excited about. Normally, on the week after Easter, it's a day where uh, in church typically there's not as many people. And the associate pastor preaches typically. S sometimes that's yeah. true. <laughs> sometimes that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but on this Easter, uh, week after Easter, Wes and I both will be here. Michael Tablata is a great friend of mine. He is a lead art. Um, minister really at Wesleyan School and he is going to come. He has a special way of bringing the message while turning pottery. Uh, so I, you are going to be blessed. I have heard him share before each uh, in each place. It's a different message. Um, I, I invite you to come on that Sunday. He will be serving and bringing the message in both the nine o'clock and the 11 o'clock services 
in their space, and you will be richly blessed. Uh, that following Wednesday, a great good friend of mine, Reverend Mark Danzi, is going to come uh, following dinner at 6.30 in the Fellowship Hall, and he is going to be sharing with us um, really this incredible ministry that God's taken hold of um, through the Commission in Institute, Narrowgate Ministries of Disciples Making Disciples. Uh, he is going to come and bless you, so you're going to want to be there on that Wednesday night, and I will be there as well uh, with you. Excited about that day. So typically the Sunday after Easter is low Sunday, but this time it's going to be high Sunday because there's going to be pot or in the church. I have nothing else to say, <laughs> Monroe First Methodist, except pray for the, the, the co-pastor and pray um, and hear this blessing that you are loved in Jesus Christ. Have a great Friday, God's Friday Church. Happy Holy Week.